So, quick video today. Omicron, friend or foe? Do we know? Well, and is it a good thing that we don't know? Well, it probably is because um, since this variant first broke, um, nothing really substantial has come out yet. And why is that a good thing? Well, the longer this goes on where we don't have a big mass pile up of fatalities and people overrunning hospitals, you'd have to say this is probably going to be potentially a very good thing, especially in places where vaccines are hard to come by. So what was all the fuss about? Well, I'll put a sticker of how genetically different this variant was. Why did it get special name status? That is not entirely clear to me, but I know the significant amount of mutations uh, was part of the story about it, but I mean, there's probably a lot of mutations you can have in the world that make it actually less able to infect and dominate. So it's good they didn't call it Omnicron, which um, a lot of people are pronouncing, because Omni kind of means everywhere. So Omicron, um, who knows, if the next one's called Megatron, then we know we're in for bad things. But Omicron, we're not sure if it's a friend or a foe. At this stage, it seems to be a dominating Delta, but not really dominating in the illness factor. Now there's been some recent stuff that perhaps the vaccine isn't as good, that term vaccine escape, which is not that surprising given the vaccine wasn't targeting uh, this particular protein spike combination, which the mutation is going to make it different. So what does that mean? Well, it probably means we've learned a lot about how the vaccines could be done at scale in quick time. So if we did need to rejig another vaccine, there's probably good hope that the platforms are in place to do that. We may not need another vaccine. It may not be so compelling to rush a vaccine out the door, given um, it doesn't seem to be overrunning hospitals. And this is just exactly shades of end of 2019 where all the reports are based on a few first-hand doctor reports and everyone quizzing them about what do they find, what were the symptoms, what were the signs. And so we're in a similar, similar um, situation really and they're peppering these doctors from South Africa. And at this stage it doesn't seem like, these mainly seem to be picked up by uh, routine swabbing, what we call routine swabbing now, because we're so worried about uh, the Delta virus, the Delta coronavirus. So these are being picked up, these people wouldn't have been swabbed otherwise. So that's quite a key point because there is potentially a lot of viruses that are circulating in the world we would never know the full genetic um, breakdown of, but now we are hungry for it. And well, this probably may lead to us thinking if you've got symptoms, you might not, you might, we might be in a world where you don't necessarily need a swab. Wow. Can anyone remember that? 2018, 19, all those times where if you had a runny nose, you had a runny nose. There wasn't an instant thing to do a swab. But at this stage, the swabs are happening, the genetic breakdown is happening. There's some interesting lab stuff about the neutralizing antibodies not being as um, prominent. So it's potentially a, a little bit of a worrying sign, but that's really in a lab setting in a real world setting seems to be um, okay. And at this stage, every day that goes past without a big scary journal article must be seen as good news, must be seen as amazing news, particularly for areas that um, have yet to have a big sweep of Delta go through them. We've seen that's what's, that's what's done, what's happened in most places and it's just been wreaking havoc. So um, this new mutation, Om Omicron, Omicron, um, it looks like it has a potential way out for us. Now, how does this factor into all the vaccination mandates and everything? That is yet to be seen. But um, it is in Sydney, so it'll be here soon. And that whole if not uh, when it occurs, uh, that, that bridge seems to have been crossed now. It'll be a matter of when it happens and how we respond to it. So. Um, good news in the last week, but another week would make it fantastic news, so we will wait and see.